Yes, sir. We have uh, Adam Soot site. Guys, 904 Fox Fab, in our left face, runway 18, contact the tower, 118.7, g'day. Alright, in our left base, runway 18, tower 18.7, have a good day, 904 Fox Fab. Yeah! Naps Tower, good morning, Scott, 514 Fox Fab, on a 12 mile left base, runway 18. Uh, one nine or four box out at a spare runway one eight third way. Right, clear to land runway one eight nine or four fox shot. Yeah, yeah. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video here on Green Brothers Flying. Before we get into today's video, let's give out some social media shoutouts. You can find Green Brothers Flying on Discord, on Instagram at Green Brothers underscore Flying, on Facebook at Green Brothers Flying, and on Twitter at Flying Green. Also, Green Brothers Flying is selling t-shirts. They are $20. Check out our social media for more details. In episode 6 of 4 Flight Tutorials, let's talk about SIDS and what they are. SIDS are Standard Instrument Departures. Let's take a look at what a standard instrument departure is. For this video, let's take a, take a look at the Mr. Bill 1 departure out of Phoenix and the Dots 2 departure of, out of LA. Let's get started. So, here's Scott. Hi, Vector. This is where I got my charge from this time instead of 4 flights since it's easier. As you can see, there's a lot of TFRs or temporary flight restrictions going on in Cali due to the wildfires. But to find the departures, I just go up here. Take Phoenix, hit go, that comes up, hit that, and then you can find all your charts here. So, going here, here's the Mr. Bill 1, departure to Mr. Bill. As you can see, there's a lot of information on this. First, double check the chart, 10th of September 2020 to 8th of October 2020. It's good. It's the Mr. Bill 1 to Mr. Bill, Mr. 1 departure, RNAV, Phoenix Sky Harbor International, PHX Phoenix, Arizona. Top altitude is 8,000. You have a whole bunch of frequencies here. The digital ATIS 127.57. The clearance delivery frequency 118.1. Has CPD LC. You got ground control both on the north side, which is runway 826, 119.75, and the south side, which is 132.55. Again, now you have Phoenix Tower 118.7 is the north or the runway 826. Then you have 120.9, which is runway 7 left, 25 right, 7 right, 25 left, also known as the south side. And then you have departure control, which is 119.2. You have your takeoff minimums, and then you have a whole bunch of these notes. RNAV, turbojets, and turbojet props only, radar, all this good stuff. Grand Canyon transition, ATC is signed only, and all that good stuff. So, let's get in it. Off of Phoenix, so this departure is good off of either runways. 26, 25 right, 25 left, 8, 7 right, 7 left. Those were backwards, but you get the gist. Off of 26, it's heading 258 to 1635 feet direct. Wilva, 260 course to Herview. Direct Zydog, at or above 5,000 because this line is underneath it. At or below 230 knots because the line is below it. Oxygen, Zelub, Mr. Bill, Yotes. And then you can go to Grand Canyon, Yoper, or Jarpa. And then top altitude again, 8,000 feet. Off of runway 25 right, again, heading 258, 1,635 feet. Janal, Oscue, right-hand turn, Zydog again. Above 5, below 230, Oxygen, Zilba, Mr. Bill, Yotes, and Grand Canyon, Yoper, Jarpa. Off of 25 left, again, it's a 258 hitting 1,635 feet. Zulup, Yavku, Oxygen, Zulub, Mr. Bill, Yotes, Grand Canyon, Yoper, and Jarpa again. So it's pretty much the same thing. Off of runway 8, 7 left and 7 right. It's all the same thing. Heading 078 to 1635 feet to Sparky. Goalie at or below 9,000. Again, the line is above goalie, so it's at or below. Puck, Mr. Bill, and then the Yotes, and then you have Grand Canyon, Yoper, and Jarpa. So that's a pretty standard one, um, obviously. 
chart not to scale. This is the uh, picture description of it. And if we go to the next page here, uh, it's the departure route description. So pretty much everything I told you, uh, just in textual format. Take off seven left, seven right, and eight. Climb heading zero seven eight to sixteen thirty five. Direct Sparky. Left turn direct to cross goalie at or below nine thousand. Then on track zero zero three to puck. Then on track two one T five degrees to Mister Bill. Vince, then you go down here on track 21 to Yotes, then on transition, maintain 8,000, expect higher altitude three minutes after departure. Um, so 25 left to climb heading 258 to 1635, then direct Zolop, then on track 260 to Yofku, then on track 349 to cross Zydok at or above 5,000 and at or below 230 knots, then on track 002 to Oxygen, on track 35 to Zillow, then on track 41 to Mr. Veal, Vince. On track to Yotes, maintain 8, expect higher after 3 minutes. Take off 2-5 right, pretty much the same thing, it's just different waypoints. Zydog at above 5 and at or below 230. Then you go to Oxygen, Zilla, Mr. Bill, then Yotes. Take off runway 26, again, very similar, heading 258 to 1635 feet. Different waypoints. Villa, Harview, they're on track 349 across Zydog at or above 5,000 to at or below 230. Same thing, then Oxygen, Zillub, and on track 41 to Mr. Ville, and then Vets. All pretty much the same thing there, pretty easy one in my opinion. Let's go take a look at the dots too. Um, you find this departure, same thing as you find the uh, Mr. Bill one, just type in LAX, hit enter, and find it. So in this departure, yes, it's sideways, sorry. Dots to the dots, dots to departure. Arnav, Los Angeles International, LAX, Los Angeles, California again. Chart date, top altitude, 17,000. Frequencies here, you guys can read them. Chart not to scale. Um, again, the runways here are depicted. This is the two fives, this is the two fours. Um, heading 251 off of all runways to 640 feet. And then you're going to go direct far, but at or below three, Delray at or below three, Hipper at or below three, uh, and then Docker at or below three. And then you're going, going to go direct any, if we're off the north side, at or below five, Knack, Hank, PV, Holtz, Dots at or above one five thousand or fifteen thousand. And then from there you go to Edel, Homer, Klee, or you go from Dots, Wild, Blocked Coastway Scenery. That's off the two fours, which is on this north side. Off the south side, on the two fives. After Docker and Hipper, which are both below three, you go direct Willer or Ador, which is uh, below 5,000. And then you go to uh, Shaf, PV, Holtz, Dots, above 15. Uh, then it's going to be direct Edel, Homer, Klee, or Wild, uh, Blocked, Coastway, Scenery. And then you have your notes here, your takeoff minimums here. This is the picture version, the textural vision version. Here it is. Take off 24 left, climb heading 251 to 640, then climb direct across Delray at or below 3000, track 256 to cross any at or below five, then on depicted route to cross dots at or above one five thousand. Yes, fifteen thousand is pronounced one five thousand events. On transition, maintain one seven thousand. Expect filed altitude five minutes after departure. Take off runway two four right. Climb heading two fifty one to six forty. Do climb direct to cross Fabra at or below three thousand. Then on track two fifty three to cross any at or below five thousand. Then on depicted route to cross dots at or above 15 events on transition, maintain 17,000. Take off 25 left, climb heading 251 to 640, then climb direct across Hipper. At or below 3, then on track 221 to cross Ador at or below 5, then on depicted route to dots at or above 15,000 events on transition, maintain 17,000. Off a of 25 right, which uh, LA departs 25 right and 24 left most of the time. Club heading 251 to 640, climb direct to cross Docker at or below 3. 
then to on track 220 to cross Wheeler at or below 5, then on to Picton Road to cross Dots at or above 1, 5,000 minutes. You go on transition, maintain 1 to 7,000, expect filed altitude 5 minutes after departure, and there it is. Well guys, this was a very short tutorial on how to read a SID. If you guys have any other tutorials you want me to go over, leave them in the comments below. And uh, at the making of this video, we have 146 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 158 subscribers. And if you are the 150th subscriber, you will get a shout out in the next video. So make sure you subscribe and become the 150th subscriber. Also. I took a two month break uh, due to some uh, things going on in my life, work got super busy, uh, COVID got in the way, um, I did not have COVID, but you know, had to be safe and really make sure I was okay, especially working at my job, but we are back, um, things haven't really slowed down, uh, the pandemic is still going on, I'm still working and actually this month in October is actually one of our busiest months at work. Um, so, yeah, um, I personally think airlines are recovering a little bit. If you want a video on that, let me know. I will be happy to make it and voice my opinions on it. Uh, with that being said, there will be some cool content coming out. Um, I have a video planned. Uh, I was coming back from Reno uh, a couple of weeks ago, and something very interesting happened. Um, something I've never experienced while flying and I've been flying since I was six months old so stay tuned for that video um, if you want that video to be come out sooner than later like this one and let me know in the comments below and uh, that's all I have if you enjoy these videos like comments and subscribe and until the next one blue skies in a tailwind yeah.